Hey guys, welcome back, and today we are finally transitioning into 3D mode. So, first off, I'm gonna set up a box here. There it is in all of its glory. So, how do we set up a simple box? Same procedure as always, we simply, we simply write in brep. You can also write, write, write in some uh, other elements, but today we're just gonna keep it simple and just setting up a simple brep exactly the, the same way as we set up our other to the elements okay next up I want to show you how to look into volume how to calculate a volume you simply write in volume and then the sim the same example as we did with the with the area except it uh, gives you the volume instead of the actual area and also it's uh, centroid Okay, good. And of course, if you wish to look into its value, we can simply set up a text tag, get the volume value into, into the text input, and of course the centroid into its low location, and then we, we have its designated volume on display. Okay, now the other, the other element I want to show you is one that I find very useful, which is the deconstruct brep which is right right here you can use this for both 3d and uh, two and 2d elements but what this does exactly is is that it allows you to uh, decompose your brep into its into its uh, how do I say this into its uh, composing elements so we have the uh, faces we have the edges and we have the vertices so if I go in here and just run in surface I can now place all the six surfaces, as you can see them here listed, into this uh, battery here. I can do the same thing with the edges. So I'm going to pick up, oh wait, that's <laughs> curves, not lines. Curve. The same thing with the curves. I might have around 12 curves in there, exactly. And of course, I should have around 8 points. So if I just write in point, and there you have it. Now we have our, th our 3D element has now been decomposed into its well proper components okay guys hope you liked this very simple tutorial please like share and subscribe and i really hope to see you here next time